Hey, welcome to Fud Life, where we like wood and steel guns and fishing in John boats. Okay, I'm going to try and get through this without cussing too much. Uh, first thing I do is pop the, pop this door, truly take the pressure off the trigger guard. Take your action screws out. that aside, take the steel piece out, take the stock off, okay the first, first thing you want to do is drive the rear pin out and it's tapered to turn the safety on. Well, you have to take the bolt out. Turn that on. Knock the rear pin out. Contain that spring if you can. It doesn't go flying. A little spring right here. And drive the front pin out. You have to move that little bar there a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. have to drive this one all the way out just till this is loose a little more okay pull that guy out here's the new one Make sure the safety is back. Set that guy in there. Kind of eyeball it, line it up. Gently tap this pin back in. Got this screwed up. Okay, use that as an alignment pin.
don't want to knock that too far because this guy's got to go back in there. Goes this way. Oops. Goes this way. Set your little spring back on. The hook end goes in there, right there. And then behind the bar there. Kind of uh, try to line all that up with a, pen, with a punch. Slide that guy up like that. Small punch. Okay, you got that through. Take the pin that you took out, and there's a taper on this end here. So start the tapered part in the hole. The spring's going to want to go flying, so you get to kind of contain it and push it through like that. Okay, that's it. It's all the way through. Safety moves. Now you just got to put it back in the stock. When you put this piece in, it's spring-loaded. That has to go down all the way in to where this part's flush. So you got to make sure that it's kind of squeezed together, or otherwise the trigger guard will not go back on, and you'll be spring cussing. Pretty good. If this doesn't fit all the way down, you know you don't have this in quite all the way yet. You've got to kind of squeeze it together. It can be a stinker. back part has to be squoze together like that right there see how those are close to touching that way you know you got it that should fit all the way down long screw in the back Short screw in the front. There you have it. Safety on fire.
that was the safety on safe to put the bolt in. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, if you remember from last week's video, I ran out of ammunition before I got the gun completely sighted. And I got my delivery yesterday. Normal whitetail. Take a couple shots and make sure our zero's right. The instructions that came with the trigger said not to adjust it till you had some time behind the rifle. And I, I agree with that. I'm not going to start monkeying with it yet. Uh, I think it's about four pounds, if I had to guess. And I, I don't have a trigger gauge, so four pounds is what I think it is. And I feel like it's it's a safe amount of pull for hunting. I'm not a gunsmith, you know, I, I've messed with triggers on a lot of different guns and whatnot, but I'd say that this is a easy install, a beginner can do it easy. I, I practiced it, you know, a couple times just so the video would flow and I wouldn't be monkeying with stuff, but anytime you're messing with springs and pins and trying to knock stuff with hammers, it's going to go flying. You know, when you begin to accurize a rifle, a uh, trigger upgrade is one of the easiest things you can do and one of the, one of the le least expensive things you can do. What they say on their package, no creep, and they're not kidding. Usually when I'm messing with triggers or working on triggers I, I got the files out and the hammers and stuff like that this is the first drop-in trigger i've ever used or bought i'm not real picky about triggers as long as it's decent you know but the one that was on here was terrible uh i i, I never used trigger tech i i bought it because it was affordable next weekend is the start of missouri's firearm season for deer I'm going to take the trigger, take the gun hunting with the trigger and uh, see how it works and put some range time behind it and then I'll do another review. Yeah, there's the first five shots and I moved, had to move the scope over some more. Moved it the wrong way and ended up with this one. So then I corrected it, got these. That's adequate for deer hunting, and that's what we're gonna do with this. About four pounds, which is just right for for a hunting gun, and uh, that's that's what we're gonna do with this thing. So I'm gonna leave it alone, and it works as 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 advertised. Works great. Thanks for watching. If you like the content in today's video, don't forget to subscribe.